The Harris Matrix. The Harris Matrix is a method used in archaeology to record the stratigraphic layers or strata of an archaeological site. These layers are geological, environmental and archaeological formations and deposits, which are built up over time and represent different time periods. Layers near the top are considered younger than those which are deeper, and this presents archaeologists with a complex sequence of natural events and human activity, which are important for the understanding and dating of archaeological sites, features and artefacts. This is why, when conducting an excavation, archaeologists dig cautiously, meticulously recording the geological, environmental and archaeological context contained within each layer. All information is recorded onto a context sheet, with each layer assigned a number, which also corresponds to a vertical section drawing of the stratigraphy. Until the late 20th century, section drawings were difficult for anyone other than the excavator to interpret. This led to the development by Dr Edward Harris in the early 1970s of a system which would produce a graphical representation and visualisation of the stratigraphy across an archaeological site and the complex relationships between layers and their chronology. This became known as the Harris Matrix, which is now used throughout the world and helps different archaeologists understand, interpret and re-evaluate each other's work. This basic stratigraphic example of an archaeological site shows the different layers and their context. The Harris Matrix method can be used here to understand the site's chronology by creating a flowchart and entering the different numbers of each layer, starting with the youngest at the top to the oldest at the bottom. This allows an interpretation of the site where the oldest natural layer is 11, which was deposited over by natural layers 9 and 10. These layers were recorded separately but are of the same context, so were placed within the Harris matrix at the same level. Number 8 was a pit that was then dug into layer 9 and was later filled in with deposit number 7. The land use then changed with the deposition of layers 1 and 4, which are again of the same context. Later, another change occurred on site with number 5, a trench that was cut through layers 1, 4, 9, 10 and 11. The construction debris of layer 12 was then deposited and number 2, a wall, was constructed, followed by the backfill of layer 3. Layer 6 is the floor at ground level and the youngest of all the layers deposited. The more complex the stratigraphy of an archaeological site, particularly within urban areas, the more relevant and useful the Harris Matrix method becomes for recording and assessing the sequence of events. Thank you for watching this video for Simple Archaeology. Please hit like if this basic overview has been of any help and click subscribe for future archaeological topics.